AstraZeneca, one of the leading coronavirus vaccine developers who worked in part with the University of Oxford, says that its experimental vaccine has a 70% average efficacy on large-scale trials. The vaccine showed a 90% efficacy in one dosing regime and a 62% in a second, which averages out at a 70% efficacy according to AstraZeneca. In a news release, the company stated that the vaccine was, quote, highly effective in preventing COVID-19, the primary endpoint, and no hospitalizations or severe cases of the disease were reported in participants recovering, receiving the vaccine. Currently, two other vaccine companies have a lead in effectiveness, Moderna with 94.5% efficacy and Pfizer with 95%. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The weight room will be open on Monday and Tuesday this week. It will close on 5.15 on Tuesday. It will be closed for the rest of the week for the Thanksgiving holiday. Email Coach Eschbacher to make reservations or if you have questions at mashbacher at asmschools.org. Senior coats and senior college pictures are due by November 24th before break. Go to esmyearbook.org for the rules and the links to submit them. Don't miss out. Today we will have rain that will turn into snow as the day progresses and gets colder. We will have a high of 43 and a low of 30 degrees. Tuesday will be colder with cloudy skies and a high of 37 and a low of 32 degrees. Wednesday will be warmer with showers and a high of 50 degrees. Thursday is Thanksgiving and we will have showers with a high of 48. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are all the same with some showers. I'm Grayson with your weather. Syracuse football team lost to Louisville on Friday, 30-0, to zero, and the record drops to 1-8. and eight. There were some very close games in the NFL yesterday. The Indianapolis Colts beat the Green Bay Packers in overtime after rookie Julian Blackman forced a fumble, which set up the game-winning field goal. The Titans and the Ravens also went into overtime yesterday, with the Titans emerging on top after Derrick Henry scored the game-winning rushing touchdown. He had 133 total rushing yards that game, and I'm Lucas.